gloves? Yes. Okay. So I've got a W1 Sunbeam waffle iron here. It's not going to be as high tech as some of the videos. I'm not going to show you how I took it apart, but I'm going to tell you how I took it apart. My issue was this handle was loose and it's not anymore. There are two screws that go in right there that are right here regular flat blade slot screws <clears throat> they screw off pretty easily that gets the front of the uh, oops that gets the front of the griddle out but the back of the griddle over here these holes line up with these hinges they are held in place by these little thumb screws that go through there and screw into the back of the deal, which I still need to clean. I used <clears throat> forceps to grip the uh, to grip the back of the screws and unscrew them uh, because I didn't have any needle nose pliers. If you had small needle nose pliers like craft needle nose pliers, those would probably work too. Um, I haven't found anything online that really talks about working on any of these and nobody I've found that works on appliances knows anything about this because it was made in the early 1940s. Um, but if you're interested in replacing your handle, because this seems to be a common problem, that's how you do it. You've got to take these disconnect this hinge from here and once these screws are out these screws hold in the back of the griddle these screws whoop, there hold in the front of the griddle once you get that out I use this little screwdriver and just kind of pry it underneath pry it all the way around and it popped right out and inside it looks like that uh, there's some screws down there but I have no reason to take that apart, so I'm not going to because otherwise this waffle iron works. So now I'm going to put the whole thing back together after we clean it up a little bit, and then uh, we're going to make some waffles.